Um, I'm accepting applications for any new co-hosts that would uh, like to join this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, welcome back to the show. Reed. Welcome, welcome. Another one, another welcome. one in the, another one has begun. Let me tell you. Uh, what are you drinking, Jack Daniels? Yeah, you know I like to start my Tuesdays <laughs> off. Uh, it really calms the nerves. <laughs> like the end, end, end the Tuesday right, and I really get the body going. The mind numbs the mind. But, uh, week, baby. Oh, this will be released on Thanksgiving. Yeah, it will. It will. Oh, Hopefully, if, if it's out on time, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll <laughs> hey, see. hey, it will. Yeah, you never know what time these things come come, come out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, turkey. Do you, are you a big Thanksgiving like meal guy? You know what? I think we complain about this every time. Not a big Thanksgiving meal guy. Me either. I'm I, I'm actually missing Thanksgiving this year because oh. my family's doing Thanksgiving tomorrow night, and I have oh. practice, so I'm gonna miss it. But I'm going home Thursday because I got some days off, um, and I'm having spaghetti on Thursday. Dude, I'm having spaghetti madness. The Italian Thanksgiving. Italian, but I'm like Filipino kind of. I don't know. <laughs> the good old Italian. Like some spaghetti on the. I'd rather have spaghetti to be honest. Oh, dude! It's either I could have either sp- just something that's gonna like. I mean, I, I take a holiday like like Thanksgiving or like a Christmas. It's mm-hmm. a cheat day, you know. You got you got to eat your favorite food. So, oh, yeah, dude. I'm thinking either on. like a Chinese buffet, or you know, spaghetti, oh. or even pizza or burgers. I'd, I'd go either. Yeah, it it's doesn't happen. Little, let's get let's get out of this tradition that I got to eat this 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 bird this that died bird twelve hours ago. <laughs> this soft bird. No, this dry. It's always dry. Turkey mm-hmm. is always dry. I hate turkey. I do not like turkey that much. Yeah, unless I, mean, I have turkey, a lot of ketchup. Turkey, I mean, it makes you sleepy. I mean, I, I think any sleepy. any food does though if you eat enough of it. You yeah, I guess if you eat a nice lot. Coma. Yeah. I'm trying to think what. Oh, well, I mean, what? So let me let's go through it. What does your family have out on Thanksgiving? You know, we're a basic basic bitch family. You know, we got basic. we got the turkey, the mm-hmm. ham. Mm-hmm. The stuffing, mm-hmm. the potatoes, the gravy, and there's usually like a green bean casserole. Oh, yeah, that's what. You and then I do. think there's usually like a, a mac and cheese. Yeah, you got to throw in another carb in there. See, this that's usually like both holidays. That's usually Thanksgiving and on Christmas. Mm-hmm. But we, I'm also I go really hard when I get to the party, and I go really hard on the apps. Chips oh, and salsa, yep. the, uh, party mix, mm-hmm. the crackers and the cheese, the salami, the carrots and ranch. I go super hard then. <laughs> so I fill up pretty high right then and there. Cause I, you know, usually when I get there, cause if I know I'm going there, I know that I, I usually try to be as hungry as possible. Cause I'm going to go all out. Mm-hmm. And so when I get there and I go all out, I go all out so fast that, you know, I burn out. This boy burns day. out. Yeah. This boy <laughs> burns out quick. And then I'm always playing ping pong. Usually that's usually the thing to do. So, you know, oh man, I haven't played ping pong in a long time. I would wash you at ping pong. Yeah, to be honest, you probably, you know, I don't, I don't get I've that. seen you play tennis. I'm a great tennis player. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> we'll, go, we'll stick with that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm one of the greats, as they say. Yeah. What's what's on your spread? Anything? Are you a mac? Do you have usually mac and cheese? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. I think that's a that's a necessity. Yeah, you got to have another carb in there with everything else. Yes. Yes. Um, sometimes we throw in some some rolls in there. Mm. Throw in some rolls. Yeah, my family too. I forgot about this. And then I think last year we did do ham, but this year we're doing no ham. We're just doing the bird. Just going the bird, no hammy. Just going the bird. Not the great hambino. No. no. See, that's for Christmas. Ham's ham's more of a Christmas thing for us. Yeah. I, I, I could agree with that. And ham is I have a love hate relationship with the ham because there's times when it hits just perfectly and it's yeah. like this mm-hmm. is good. And then there's times then there's times I eat it and I'm like I didn't even need to eat this. It didn't hit the yeah, sometimes it's too salty, and then other times you're like, eh, "Am I really feeling this?" Sometimes you get that really fatty piece, and it's like, "Yo, oh yeah," and it ruins it. You get sick from this. Yeah, Ugh. yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving it, it's okay. 
okay. Yeah, it's average. It gets you in the. It gets you going in the holiday spirit. I guess. I'd say it's in the. Top, it's in my top five. Yeah. For holidays, favorite holiday. It, I only like it because get together with the family, but it also is one step closer. It's the big man, Santa Claus. Oh he's coming, yeah. He's coming dude. to town. He's coming to town. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I mean, Chris, Christmas is up there, man. That would probably what's you okay? What's your top two? What's your top holiday? Top three. Uh, Just give me your top three. Top three: Halloween, Christmas. Um, I don't know. I guess Thanksgiving. I mean, Easter's. I I would mix Easter and Thanksgiving. They're pretty much like the same thing mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. us. Like it's like you make a big meal, yada yada. Yeah. It's yeah, I would say. I'd say Christmas and Halloween. I'd say Christmas first. You got to have Christmas first. That's got to be your one seed. I mean, yeah. See those those two. They're kind of mixed for me. I'm not sure. I don't know where to to put them at. I mean, when I was a kid, Halloween was probably that. That was when it was interchangeable. When I was, you know, I was running from door to door, yeah, you know, wrecking havoc in the neighborhood and pulling home invasions. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of like the season, but I like both of the seasons, like the Christmas season. And then I also yeah, like spooky the season, baby. Yeah, yeah I, okay, yeah, I agree with that. It's hard. It's hard. That is a tough one. Yeah, but and then yeah, the three can my three seed can be interchangeable with a whole bunch. Easter, and then Valentine's Day. You know that one's at the bottom of the list. <laughs> Boom! That they need to be gone. All right, the worst <laughs> holiday ever created. It is a, a weird nice holiday. single guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Gone twenty two straight years with. <laughs> <laughs> having a bad time. It's a damn record, baby. <laughs> Gosh, do you did your schools ever do anything special for Thanksgiving, like on the Thanksgiving days? I remember we, there was one time we dressed up as Native Americans and pilgrims. Oh boy! And now that I think about it, kind of not the best. <laughs> yeah, I for some reason I feel like I've done the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's like a normal thing. I I remember definitely dressing as a pilgrim. I remember having the belt buckle on the hat. I remember doing that. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Know I don't think I ever pulled do it now. I, yeah, you can't get away with that now. It's a risky move to do now. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely, I've definitely dressed up as a pilgrim a few times. I, I have a picture, and I was like, man, might need to burn this baby. <laughs> Before CNN gets his hands on it, huh? <laughs> yeah, then they'll be posting that everywhere. I the most, the biggest thing I remember from school on one Thanksgiving was the it was the one I've talked about this before, but it was the one where I had my special persons day and I I sang a cappella Green Day in front of That's the special right. persons, two hundred <laughs> people. <laughs> that is... Yeah, that Wait, that moment. It was, what holiday did you sing that on? It was the day before we got off from Thanksgiving. Like for Thanksgiving break, it was the day before because we had our special person day. So I had every two classes full of people brought one person. So it was around like 150, 200 people. And yeah, there was, we had food, all this stuff. And then, yeah, by the t- someone needed to entertain these people. And uh, the old J man who the natural could, entertainer uh, came out, <laughs> the guy who thought he could sing at that point for some reason, something inside of me was like, yo, I can sing. I, I, I got I got what it takes. What an appropriate uh, song, too, to set everybody off for Thanksgiving, huh? Time of your life, Green Day. No <laughs> music, no microphone. Just me and my vocal cords just sitting up there in front of the line. The funny thing is, it was oh. the teacher was like, because I was like, yeah, I can sing. She's like, oh, would you sing? It was like a couple days before. It was like, I'd say about a week before. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, can you, you want to sing for the special person day? Like we need something like some sort of entertainment. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Thinking like she was like joking or like forgetting about it. Uh-huh. And then, so, but she was like serious. So I had to practice. I practiced in front of my mom um, multiple times. And then I remember like the day before the special person's day, because we we're planning it all out in class. Mm-hmm. And the teacher was like, Justin, you want to get up and do a rehearsal in front of the class? I was like, no, you can, you'll hear it on a, you'll hear it on game day. <laughs> you know, you'll hear it on the big day. You'll wait for and game day. Cause I was, I was petrified. Cause at that point, J man was shy and uh, a little stage fright. So n- no idea how I got up there and, and crushed that song. But <laughs> from what I've heard, I sounded all right. I mean, I, it's coming, it's coming from my grandma who's there. So obviously she's going to say, <laughs> yeah, I, look, she, I sounded she's good. You're number one supporter. The one person you should ask is Chase Yantis. He was he was sat next to me. That was before I really knew Chase. 
Chase was the, the, he was sat next to me and my special person. And I was like, oh, this kid. I was like, I haven't seen this kid that much, but yeah. He, 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 he witnessed it. <laughs> Ready to rock out. Yeah. I don't even know how I did that because, I mean, I could do it now. Like, I don't care nowadays, but mm. like, I, even high school, Justin, like, I had trouble getting up talking about a book oh, yeah, in front of class, let alone sing without mm. music. <laughs> It's one thing if I had like a guitar or someone <laughs> someone playing like a flute or something, but no, it was just, just me sitting up there standing straight up. Just <laughs> oh, gosh. Dude, I wish someone filmed that. Did I did I ever tell you about how my uh, middle school we used to do a winter program, like the whole school, like including the elementary school? <laughs> and I would I was told because I would, during like an elective, my elective was I was learning the piano. And I learned Silent Night on the piano. Like, not Ooh, good at all. It's a banger, though. Like, not, like, my, I'm like literally going like this on the piano. And they're like, <laughs> you should play that for the winter program. And I'm like, oh, all right, yeah, I got it. So I go up to, I'm kicking off the show with it. And it's just a. Duh. So you're headlining? Yes, you're the I am. Oh, I'm doing boy. The, da, 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 da. And it's going that <laughs> slow, too. I finish. All of a sudden, they got these third, these fifth, these third and fifth graders come up, and they are playing absolute bangers on the piano. Like, I've oh. been taking lessons forever. And so then I'm like, oh, well, now I just look like that kid who went up there. <laughs> Dude, that special kid they let up on stage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they push were like you off using, his talent. They were using, like, the feet things that were under them, too. Oh, they yeah, those going, are tough. All, like they were playing like five minute songs and I'm just over here going da, 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 da. I was a part of a couple when I first moved here the, when I went to Gold Run shout out to all my gold runners out there um, <laughs> my gold runners baby my gold runners baby um, my golden because that was the first school I went to and uh, I remember there was a winter play or it was like seeing a lot of singing on stage I, I remember that kind of but mm-hmm. uh the thing that really makes me think about these holidays. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ready for some nostalgia to hit you in the face? Oh, yeah. The Scholastic Book Fair, baby. Oh, oh, yeah. Woo! There, and Nothing you would like never that. buy books there. You would never oh, dude, buy books. I, would buy, I bought a post. I have a Troy Polamalu poster I still have. It's in my room at home. <laughs> Troy Polamalu poster. I bought that bad boy. I did buy a couple books because... Mm-hmm. That would always be the time I can get that new Diet Olympic kid fresh off the shelves. That's baby. right. Okay. Yep. Mine was, I got one year Diary of the Wimpy Kid. And then I also got a Tom Brady poster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How about, yeah, uh, no, I remember they always had like a bunch of like toys though there. Like it was like, yeah, erasers, cool erasers. There was mm-hmm. like cool notebooks. I was like, yo, I want all of this. Yeah. They had those, uh, those erasers that kind of look like uh, red vines. Mm. Like they were the twisted yes. ones. Those yes, were like cool. I remember those bad boys. And they had those mm-hmm. pencils that were like elastic too. I was like, yep. yo, but what I remember about the Scholastic Book Fair is the security at that place. Oh, they they locked that thing down like it was Super Bowl 44. You yeah, know? Dude. It was like you couldn't get in or out without being checked by everything. They made sure you didn't steal anything. Because this that guy like definitely tried to steal some stuff, but I was like, I can't get past <laughs> these guys. These guys are professionals. Now, did you? So I remember they did the book fair, but do you remember when they used to hand out the pamphlets to buy books and stuff? Like it was like the uh, it was the same company, but every once in a while they would hand out pamphlets to the class, and you would take it home, and like then you like you would try to talk your parents into buying them, and then they would mail them to the school. Kinda. My parents never bought one of those. Dude, <laughs> I showed my parents that. That went straight into the garbage. Yeah, I would <laughs> always show my parents, like, come on. Like, like, can I please get them? They're like, no, absolutely not. I think one year, because it was close to Christmas, and so it was going to count as my Christmas present if yeah. I got them. And I remember how fired up I was because I was always jealous of the kids that they'd be like, oh, everybody's stuff came in, and they'd be handing out a bunch of books to these kids. And I was like, Man, well, a lot of the time it wasn't books. It was like weird little like there's like MP3 players too that they sold. Yes, I remember those. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. My parents never bought them. Man. They were like, nope, I'm not doing it. Oh, dude. <laughs> Anything took, I brought them. Man. It took a great amount of begging. Like, come on, please, just this one time, just this one time. Yeah. That that is something I do miss about being young is 
those little events that were that would always be at school and then mm-hmm. also the um the assemblies we had some dope oh dude the, the guy i want to bring up best. though just remembered him the jugular or the, <laughs> the jugular, jugular the jugular man no the jugular oh, um izzy oh, it was izzy yes. something yes he was a substitute teacher too he yes dude the dude was dope yeah dude he was so cool Yo, oh, he, he had a juggle when he substituted yeah, yeah the so the people listen the, Every school around our place, for some reason, this guy substituted there. But he would also be at some point in your middle school or your elementary to middle school to even probably freshman year high school. Uh-huh. At some point, you had an assembly. And his name was Izzy, but he had like a cooler name. But he it was, was a like jugu- Quid- Izzy Kwasinski or something. Yeah, it was something like that. And he was a jugular. Ju- God, a juggler. A juggler. <laughs> Keep saying juggler. Go he for the juggler, juggler brother. But he would, All that turkey he would be talk. tossing, and he was good at it, but he was so funny, too. I oh, just remember yeah, that guy. Dude. Here's the bad guy if you're listening. <laughs> Anytime there was an assembly, it was the best day ever. Oh, my goodness. It was like oh. you woke up just What I would do up. to go to a middle school assembly right now. <laughs> oh, dude, even a high school one was like still. Nah, like, yeah. those were still, hey, we didn't have good ones at high school. Well, I mean, not entertaining, but it, you got out of class. Dude, I could have got out of class anytime I wanted in high school. <laughs> okay, well, I'm saying like maybe, fresh, a joke. maybe like freshman year when you're like yeah. getting in and then. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like our, like our what is it, pep rallies? They yeah, that those are lame. <laughs> those are lame. They're the very sad. Are dead. <laughs> uh, but I do want to talk about what I wanted to talk about that, I, you know, I sent you the video. Uh, yes. You've seen it. Um, there's a video going around. It re- happened recently. And it is a. Uh, it was at a concert, and it was a Rage Against the Machine cover band. Okay, Rage Against the Machine, death metal, or is it death metal? It's death metal, um, right? It's like hard rock. It's metal. I would Some say it's like a metal. punk because it's like against uh, the system. So, yeah, rebel, you know, screw the government. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so it's, it's a cover band, and uh, the lead singer is a girl, and hmm. she had to pee really bad, and there is a – a fella in the stand or in the in the crowd that was like, "Yo, pee on my face," and she was like, "Okay, get up here." And uh, you can look it up on uh, on Google. I can't show it on here, obviously. If you want to, <laughs> yeah, just look up. You know, I googled simply band singer pees on fan, and it's it's the first thing that pops up. It's but, going out there. So she pulls down her pants on stage while the band is still kicking the bass player is still banging the drummer is still going they they don't slow the concert down it's just the lead singer pulls down her pants while the guy lays under her her, 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 her <laughs> looking straight in the eyes okay and uh she dumps some pee on it and that's what i wanted to talk about is how much pee came out of that right that was an insane amount Dude, that was a that was like one of, you know, like one of those tarp things that when it's raining, it fills up with water and then it gets too heavy and it comes down yeah, and all that water. Come, that's what it looked like. There was so much pee that came out. And that's what I want to ask you, because, you know, you're obviously the perfect person to ask because, you know, know, you're a, a girl. Know right? a pe- yeah, you know a lot about the, the female body. Um, is that how the girls pee every time? Is it just an absolute hose that comes <laughs> sprinkling out? Say- it did throw me off because that was an insane amount. Yeah. Dude. That was like you took like a water balloon and popped it at the bottom. Like it was. Yes. A big balloon, though. It was like it wasn't just a water balloon. That was a big balloon. And I'm the, the water pressure behind this piss oh, is better yeah. than some of the showers I've showered in. Mm-hmm. That water. She must have had to pee really bad. I don't know. Uh, dude. When I saw, I was amazed by that. That was the first thing that caught my eye. I was like, oh my God, that was like a gallon. I want you, if you guys are listening to this, go look that up because you just need to see the piss that comes out of this lady. This, yeah. it, it's got to be a record. Here's the thing. And the guy was loving it. Oh, yeah. That's the guy punk, was, that's punk guy was rock, like, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's the norm. <laughs> Jeez. You're just getting absolute, just showered with urine. Now, my, here's my thing. Could it have possibly been? I'm just, I'm doing, this is <laughs> science right here. Oh, boy. I, I know you could do an enema in your, your good old behind. But 
could you do an enema in the front pocket? I don't think so. I think enemas, enema is, makes you shit. But it makes you go poo-poo. It doesn't make you go is, pee-pee. Yeah, but the thing is, is they're shooting water in there. They're shooting a liquid in yeah, there. Yeah, but what? But she, was just holding, she was just holding that in there for the concert? Listen, she's obviously a performer. But she released an apology. Really? She that was like because, well, obviously, when you do something like this on stage, there's going to be some backlash from fans and, you know, the media. So she, uh, they got some uh, Rage Against. That's their, that's their band name. Is I think it's just Rage Against. There's no machine. It's just Rage Against everything. Yeah, it's just Rage Against. And, uh, yeah, there was some heavy backlash against them. So she released a statement saying uh, she apologized. Uh, she says she's never done this before. And she says it will be the last time, I'm pretty sure. And I'm yeah, like, we'll see. It's like, you don't just, if that's your first, I don't believe that's our first time because your that's first time good. you're not going on stage and just dumping that out, you know? You're, now every single Rage Against the Machine cover band has to live up to that. Yeah, take and it pretty soon further. we're going to have, pretty soon we're going to have a guy getting shit on. But see, here's the thing. Marilyn Manson used to, like, he would like that dude throw d- dead animals at the crowd after he would cut them up. Also. He would do all kinds of horrible things. I can't tell you how much I hate that guy. He's an odd feller. Let's just say the that. scariest dude. If I had a nightmare and mm-hmm. there was someone chasing me, it would be him. Oh yeah. That guy, that guy can kill me just with his looks alone. I, I would know- <laughs> probably be frightened to death. I know recently he's been in some hot water with some controversy. Yeah, that's that's why I, I and I believe every single one of them. Just I do. Up, right? I right there's, away there's, I was like, okay. He's but, one of those guys that would. He's into blood. He's oh, into yeah. a lot of blood stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, he did have a lot of. I remember when he was on. What was that? He recent. I don't think it was recently died. It was recent. Um, he used to interview people. I forget what his oh, name. Uh, was. Larry King. Larry King. His dude. interview with him was, I got to say, very good. About Where what? What like, did they talk about? I feel like you can't talk to that guy. I feel like talk, you cannot they, talk to Marilyn Manson. Everything, like every like controversy. I think it was Larry King. Like every controversy he's ever been in, like stuff like that. And he like explained it well. And like, I don't know. After I, after I listened, I was like, wow, I guess I, guess I could kind of, I, you know, this guy's pretty rad. And then you hear about the other stuff, and you're like, ah, never mind. <laughs> Psych. That guy's not rad. I'll tell you that. That guy's. Yeah, I mean, I would be here. so afraid to show my children what he looks like if I had yeah. children. Because he is terrifying. I mean, the way he pretty much explains it is basically he's just like, look, I'm a performer. This is what I do. Uh, I don't but, like it. It's giving me chills, dude. I, I'm, I'm 22 years old. And if I saw him now, I'd be frightened. Yeah. Yeah. Even without like the makeup on and stuff, he still looks creepy. Yeah. Oh, God. He looks like the guy uh, from Ratatouille, who is the oh, food the, inspector, uh, or the, the taster. Yeah. The critic. He looks like a scarier version of that yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've never been into his music. I've never been like a huge fan of his. Yeah. He's just, I don't know. His music never was like where I was like, this is good music. Not speaking to you? No. <laughs> no, it wasn't like where I'm like, oh, yeah, brother. You're more of a Kid Cudi guy, aren't you? <laughs> you know what? I got to say, I liked a few Kid Cudi songs. was never like deep. I loved Kid, Kid Cudi, Cudi when, when I was a kid. Yeah, I liked, like, like that. That one album he had. I don't. Maybe it was a couple. Of, I'm not. Yeah. Is that the one that had like Pursuit of Happiness? It had. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Day and Night, um, The Prayer, all mm-hmm. those ones. Like those. Were, I love those songs as a kid. Yeah, see, like, I just like a couple of his songs. I was never really into him. Yeah. I feel like a lot of kids, though, were like, man, his music's deep. And it's like, see, hey, I don't find you're that. in middle yeah. school. Yeah. <laughs> I don't find, when people say, oh, dude, that, that, that line just speaks to me, I'm like, you know, it's a song. I, I've never felt like, yo, that, that, that bar just, that's my life. <laughs> that bar's hot. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never, like, connected with a song like that. Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, I don't know. He was never really somebody who I was like, oh, man, Kid Cudi, man. Was there anyone at middle school, you know, your, during your little goth phase Absolutely. that you had? Absolutely. And I don't know if I've ever told you this. I was down with the clown in middle school, brother. ICP, Insane Cloud Posse. 
Oh, yeah. I think we've talked about this. Oh, like, yeah. Said that, and I was like, God, that is that's an yeah, odd see, one. <laughs> I remember I had a friend who was like into like all that, like Marilyn Manson and like ICP, like those weird where they talk about murder a lot in their songs. Yeah. And I remember I could never get into like Marilyn Manson when he was telling me about it. But ICP, man, there's something about that juggalo lifestyle <laughs> that seemed so cool when I was in middle school. Yeah, I was pretty. I was big in a soldier boy. I went through a soldier boy phase where oh, I who had... did it when Crank That Soldier Boy came out. Well, it was probably even before that because that song came out what 2002, 2003. No, it had to come out sooner than that. Because I remember, like, around, let's say around 2007, 2008, right when I first moved here, um, me and this other dude were big into the boy. And so I used to carry around a picture of him in my pocket. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I had a soldier boy picture. Man, you were committed. And I, and I was planning on, and I would always walk around doing the, <laughs> around campus. And uh, I would, I was planning on getting, those white glasses he had that said soldier boy across. I was like, oh, Yo, I, need, yeah. I need a pair of those. So I was like, I, I mean, need rep those. Yeah. Anytime I saw a white pair of glasses like that, I was just like, those are soldier boy glasses. I also wore my brother's shoes to school one day. I remember this for some reason. I was like, probably it would have been first, second grade. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, I'm going to wear my brother's shoes to school. I was like, these are cool. I was like, because I'll definitely fit in them, you know? And so they were just some cloggers on me. And I walked around all day. And no matter if someone made eye contact, eye, eye contact with me, I told him, I was like, yo, I'm wearing middle school shoes right now. Check like, out these oh. kicks, boy. It's like, I'm wearing those bad boys right now. While I was on the ball wall and playing uh, whatever it's called. We throw in the ball. <laughs> Uh, I used to be at Gold Run, dude. Kickball. That's a legend. Dude, put a ball on the roof. Kickball Kickball was the (laughs) best, dude. What was it? What was your what was your role that you wanted when you're kicking? I wanted a little, I wanted a little bouncy. And I would like it a little fast too with a bounce. Oh, fast big fast little bounces. Yeah, because then that's when you could get it really going. Yeah. That's when, you, that's when you're hitting homers. It depends if I was trying to pull it or I was trying to go oppo. Like if it was small bouncies and I wanted to take it to right, right center, I'd mm-hmm. go small bouncies. But if I wanted to pull it, I'm like, hey, give me some big bouncies. I'm gonna put this thing in the left. Oh field. yeah, yeah. dude. dude. And remember... then there's nothing better when you hit a perfect kick. Oh you run around yeah, those bases. Dude. Run around those bases. No one's gonna get you. I remember uh, one of my classes in high school, we were out on the field and then they were like, oh, let's just do kickball. Because, like, I forget what we went out to the dude and they're like, we'll just play kickball. Dude, I was so confident. I was cocky. I almost made a kid cry because I was just, I was just made, oh, dude, I was talking so much. <laughs> I was just like, after I kicked one time, I walked to the base and I was like, you're cool. not going to get me, baby. Oh, that baby, that, that's that that the most, yeah, here. that's savage. You got the, ba- the old bat flip, but in kickball. <laughs> <laughs> then, I, then I would be like in the outfield. I always like playing the outfield too. Yeah. Because catching it, I remember I caught it and I just told the kid, out, get out of here, go back to the class. <laughs> and this kid was like, he was probably like a freshman when I was a senior and we were just trying, I was just trying to be as obnoxious <laughs> as I could out there. Dude, the amount of times I made kids cry on the playground playing sports, dude, just in, oh, I was such a little dick. Let me Did tell you, you ever make a kid cry in high school? I feel like you'd make a kid cry in high school. <laughs> sure. Come I on. feel like you made a couple kids cry. Yeah, my damn. Don't, don't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> the old freshman, sophomore, Justin, that was the biggest guy around yeah, town. Yeah, he did. <laughs> The moment I got brought up to varsity football, I was like, dude, I'm a legend. <laughs> I belong oh, here. <laughs> I, belong. I own this school. They're trying to stuff kids in lockers and stuff. Yeah. No, I remember I had – there was a fitness center at – Almost every school I went to had some sort of fitness center. It's actually kind of dope. Like Deer Creek had a fitness center. Oh, really? Um, and we had these things. I think I've talked about this before, but it was a groovy or something on, it was on Friday and it was like smoothie Friday or something like that. And uh-huh. uh, the fitness teacher would make like nice fruit smoothies. 
mm-hmm. and I would always be the I would always volunteer to pass out the smoothies, but you had to pay for them. You had to pay uh, for them. Trick. It was like 20 to 50 cents. But uh-huh. so I was, I did the things and, you know, I'd pass them out and then I'd down one, pass a couple oh, out, yeah, down yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, you know, I get the free. But there was a fitness center at Seven Hills, uh, my middle school. And that one had like, we'd go there for PE and, you know, me and the PE teacher, we, we didn't get along back then, you know, because <laughs> I, I, I thought she was a, a you know what mm-hmm. you know and uh and then also i was very immature um but uh, By that hard we'd believe. go to the yeah we'd go <laughs> we'd go to the fitness center though for sometimes for pe and you know I, this boy would be sprinting on that treadmill she'd be like no you can't sprint you gotta slow down I'm like no i gotta work <laughs> i'm working and then I, I would get banned from there let me just say i got banned from most sport i'll say this in I want to say seventh grade because seventh grade is my worst year. I got suspended like three times. Got a whole bunch of, I got kicked out of every PE thing. Let me tell you that football. This teacher was telling me I wasn't going hard enough because I was like, yo, I'm not going to go hard in in football. And then so she gets gets on my ass. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go hard. So I take the ball and I start sprinting and I'm going towards the goal line. I just absolutely destroy this chick that steps in front. (laughs) Well, I think this was an episode way back. I think it was called Running Over yeah. the Pee. Yeah. I destroyed her. So, um, oh, hockey. We played hockey, like without skates, obviously. Mm-hmm. I got ejected so fast for high sticking. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, you I was like, how am I supposed to hit my slap shot from mid center? It's, like <laughs> it's like you're ruining everything. And then volleyball got kicked out, kicking the volleyball. She's like, oh, you're going to pop the bladders. I was like, Psh can't play any sport in this damn school this school's a prison yeah that's how my, like that's how my pe class was it was very like the teachers were like okay don't go like too crazy and i remember i would just be overly i not like when we'd play hockey too i would make yeah. a point to throw down my stick and act like i was throwing my gloves off and i would act like i was gonna fight somebody <laughs> you were that guy yeah, yeah i was I like that's that. it and i would throw my gloves down. <laughs> i could see that oh there was a there was one more thing I wanted to bring up. It was a story I found. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's never a, that's never a good sign. <laughs> but uh, this one's like, so I saw it. Man in traffic accident, declared dead, wakes up after a night in the morgue. Oh. How about that? So the that's guy I was... Before, right? <clears throat> I'm sure it's happened more. Somebody times, especially back up. then. Oh, yeah. Um, but this was, <laughs> this was November 22nd. <laughs> this is, this was a day. De- this is yesterday. Oh my. It was the 23rd. So it was, it said that, oh my gosh. So Indian man declared dead following motorcycle accident. He was placed in the morgue freezer, but shocked his family when they discovered that he was still breathing the next day. The doctors were in awe because they said they had they didn't see any signs of life when they cl- declared him dead. His body was placed in the freezer until his re- relatives arrived six hours later. <laughs> when the police, when the, the police team, and <laughs> when the police team and his family came over to initiate the paperwork for the autopsy, they found him alive. <laughs> <laughs> everyone was shocked he is not dead how did this happen um and then they were like we're gonna lodge a complaint they're gonna sue the doctors for declaring him dead <laughs> Man, him imagine that they were saving him for later imagine playing possum like that that's yeah. a that's the ultimate joke let me tell you Dude, that's a that's a prank right there that's an epic prank yeah oh, imagine man. imagine waking up like as you're being buried, like <laughs> you're in a oh, coffin dude. and it's like, all of a sudden you hear like some like trumpets playing. You're like, yo, wait, hold on, hold on. You're just, just slow down here. Lowered. Yeah. It was like, slow down. I'm alive here. Well, good, I, good thing. He wasn't getting cremated, man. Imagine waking up in the, at oh, least he woke up, up in the in freezer. Your, man, it wakes up in the, in the damn the oven. Pizza oven at Domino's. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dude, that, that's, that would be terrible. Oh my gosh. I remember I saw, uh, it was like last year or the year before and it was a dude died in the UK 
And then, like, he knew he was going to die and stuff. And so he planned out at his funeral that he wanted um, somebody to put a tape recorder in his casket. And it was him yelling, no, let me out. <laughs> oh, I've seen that. No, that's that's genius. See, that's that's that, a guy going out on his own terms. That is right one there. hell of a prank right there, baby. I saw this other one that was on, on Instagram. <laughs> it was It was supposed to be a sad thing, but I was like, it was a bunch of friends. Their friend died. They're soccer fans. And they're like, we're going to let – he wanted – they let him score one last time. And they, they're kicking the ball, and they kick it off the coffin, and it goes in the goal, and then they celebrate on top of the coffin. Uh-huh. And I was looking at the comments. They're like, you know, they just put the coffin just on the ground in the street <laughs> kick the ball at him, and they just ricochet off into the thing. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah that's a, uh. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to think whether I'd rather be cremated or put in a coffin. Coffin Dude, just seems expensive. I want to go to science, bro. I want to be one of the skeletons that they that is just propped up in the middle of a biology classroom. Oh yeah, to just sit. That's in there the in way. The classroom. That's the way. I saw that there was a company, and I think I think you have to be alive for this. <laughs> I'm guessing, but they'll freeze you. You'll they'll freeze you, and then they'll uh wake you up in the future like they were trying to do some kind of experiment yeah, i'm sure there was like a certain amount of money you had to give them but then people are like do you give them the money before or when you wake up <laughs> yeah it's like you, you need to get this money when i wake up in the future and how are you gonna <laughs> how are you gonna find out that you're scammed sounds like it's a scam to me you, you just wake up and you're in heaven just ah what the <laughs> come on man <laughs> got scammed oh, damn, that, that, that was 15k down the toilet <laughs> well there goes 15k uh, back to uh, back to Thanksgiving. What's your favorite mm-hmm. Thanksgiving movie? Speaking of death, Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to Thanksgiving. Let's give some thanks on this on this Thursday episode. Mm-hmm. Um, what's your favorite uh, Thanksgiving movie? There's not I can't a ton think of, of a Thanksgiving movie. I think. <laughs> Let me honestly, guess. You love you. I I already know. You love the the pilgrims where you know the the fake history and they're having dinner with the Indians. You know, no, chatting no, up having no. a good time. No, let's see. You just love that one. In reality, they pillage. <laughs> I'm trying to be. I don't think I'm. I don't think I have a favorite Thanksgiving movie. I can, I can think of one movie that involves Thanksgiving in some way, and What's it's the Adams Family. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. There's a. a is it? Yeah, but it's what is it called? It's called Adams Family. Uh, I forget which one it's called. They made I think like it was the second one. Like... I think it was the second one. Oh, did, did you did you see the animated ones at all? It looks like garbage. Nah, they look cute. For it looks like, like a kid. hot garbage. Like, like I'm 22. I'm not gonna go see Adam's Family, <laughs> the animated I mean, version in the theaters. Some you know? of these, some of these kids' movies that are coming out, we had bangers when we were younger. All right. Yeah. Here's my I thing. Agree. We had bangers. Why can't you make a decent kids' movie that? like a family could go to and watch it and be like, oh, that was bearable. Some of these movies are unbearable nowadays. Yeah. Like, even for me, like, I'll laugh at anything, but there's, I can't sometimes. Like, I remember my nephew, he wanted to watch uh, the new Home Alone. He was telling mm-hmm. me the new Home Alone movie was good. It was god-awful. <laughs> yeah, you cannot replace the Nicolian Colts. Uh, you I can't was, replace I was just sitting there like, why would they I mean what is it Aaron from the office was one of the uh, what is it guys who breaks in and I was just like what is yeah. this what am I watching you can't, and you can't and that's also you can't replace uh, Joe Pesci uh, and the other oh dude. god no those are classics but uh, okay Thanksgiving what's your go to dessert you know what I gotta say I'm not much of a pie guy Um, I don't know I usually I usually down one piece of pumpkin pumpkin pie with a uh, whipped cream. I could do a small piece. Are you a cheesecake guy? Um, I've dabbled in cheesecake. I wouldn't really say a big in... fan, but I've dabbled in it. I don't like cheesecake because isn't it? It's freaking cream cheese, isn't it? Yeah, but it's it's like gross. you can't really taste it. No, it's gross. Oh, hold on. I got a Thanksgiving story for you. Okay. Totally forgot about this one. All right. So eighth grade. Mm-hmm. 
back to middle school. Like this show, this show is about middle school. Oh right? yeah, it is. Eighth grade. I used to, I was a volunteer. Um, I worked the special needs program. Um, loved doing it. I was uh, always uh, with them and they threw a little Thanksgiving party. Um, like I'd say the day before break. Mm-hmm. And so brought a bunch of food and I'm sitting with, um, sitting in between a couple of my buddies, like a couple of the buddies I worked with. And let's just say <laughs> I had one of them like to talk with their mouth open. <laughs> and <laughs> when they talked, when they talked, they spit a lot. So I had that on my left side. And then on the right side was one of my good buddies that, um, you know, too, but he, began to dig into my food as well as his oh, <laughs> so i'm sitting there and getting spit on my food's getting taken but i you know i had like a couple, i had a little bit of food but dude let me tell you i got so sick that day and it literally the next day when it was uh when it was thanksgiving i was in my room all day i didn't go to the thanksgiving party i was so sick i got so sick from the food <laughs> but yeah that that was an experience so just because i remember it was like great time i was like i'm having a blast we watched frozen had a great time i'm trying to just enjoy this food it obviously gets bombarded but i was able to spare like i got a little slice of cake that was untouched <laughs> that i i put aside but i was like i'll eat this later but yeah I, I just remember I got so dog sick, dude. I got dog sick that day. There's nothing worse than when you know what you got sick from, too. Like when you're like, I think I can <laughs> name what I got sick from. <laughs> it's like it could have been the undercooked turkey. It could have been the turkey from this person's mouth coming onto my plate. It could have been the hands coming into my plate on this side. Dude, it was like spin the wheel. What kind of sickness you want that day? Gosh, no. Yeah, that was that was a that was a fun story that i remember i remember that it was it's fun i I loved doing that that was so fun i I did that for two years then in in middle school and then i got to do it in high school it was be the ta for the special needs program but yeah had some good stories with those yeah see i give you props i don't know if i could do that yeah i I mean i would let too much stuff slide that's the thing because i would just be like okay and then i would have to be told like he can't do that or she can't i'd be like gotta be stern He's just living his life. I can't do anything. <laughs> if I yeah. was an issue, I'd want somebody to be like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I've, I, I lost my buddy a couple times because he, he used to right. wander. Mm-hmm. He used to wander um, in middle school. And, and one time we were on a we were doing like the little bike. And it was mm-hmm. like one of the it was the bike that was like on the ground with a whole bunch of wheels. Yeah. And I remember I was talking to Dawson Faye because he helped me out. He was <laughs> in the class too, of TA. And we were talking he was about football. In the class. And <laughs> now we were talking in foot, we were talking about football. And all of a sudden I'm like, yo, where is where is he? Where is it? I was like, yo, oh, no. <laughs> so I was like, oh boy, dude. At first I was looking the streets. I was like, making sure he didn't roll down there. And then I'm like sprinting through the halls and there alone. He's just, he's just pedaling through the halls. It's like, Oh gosh, <laughs> thank goodness. It's like, it's like, I'm about to, I'm about to get fired. I'm about to get kicked out of school. Yeah, see, that's another thing. I get nervous when I'm watching a dog when it runs <laughs> off. If I'm watching a human, dude. Yeah. It's a whole nother nah. ballpark. I was good at that job. Let me tell you that though. I was very good. Got, got many good reports. Good reports. Thank you. You're your natural. Natural, I'm natural. I'm a natural. And what's funny is it runs in the family because my dad did. My dad taught special ed. My grandpa taught special ed. My brother helped out with special ed. It's like, and I think my mom's done it too. I was like, he runs in the hula hand jeans, man. And now look at you're doing a podcast with a formal spe- a former special ed student. You bet your ass. It's all coming full full circle, circle baby. I'm t- technically I'm helping you. I'm just giving back. I I remember I used to get like so embarrassed if it was like a family member or someone that i saw that i hadn't seen in a long time and they were just like they would talk to me about school and i would tell them like what kind of math i was in and they're like oh you're you're going pretty slow and i was like yeah i'm in special ed and they'd be like oh okay for you <laughs> and then like you'd have to explain yeah it's like special ed but it's not like that special and it's like, it makes you sound even like it makes it sound like you're making excuses like you're like ah, it's okay buddy we get it 
We get it. We get it. You're doing your best. You're, try- you're trying. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah. I know a few uh. people that I know a few people like you. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, Reed, where can they find you? you can on find that me. note, where can they find you? You can find me here every week at the show. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you can follow me, uh, JJ and Squareman underscore 20 on Instagram. Go follow this podcast everywhere. The show with underscore junior on Instagram. The show with JNR and YouTube. If you're listening to this, awesome. Make sure you hit the follow button on there. But also head over to YouTube. Go check us out and watch us. Watch us. We're pretty. You know, we work hard. And we work out. We, we work out. Yeah, kind of. Sometimes. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Go hard. Gain a couple, you should get a couple LBs on that. Sandwich, what? eat till you throw up. Yeah, that. I mean, that's the holidays, baby. <laughs> that's the holidays. It was four, <laughs> and then also after you eat, this little finger right there, go down your throat, Helps puke it time. up, boom. Round right two, back the, right back in the game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we appreciate your support, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace.